Hello, I am Langton Shepherd and I'm 10 years old and I'll be doing a scene from Anne of Green Gables. I suppose you're Mr. Matthew Cuthbert. My name's Anne Shirley. Anne spelled with knee. I was beginning to worry you weren't coming for me today, so I made up my mind to climb up that cherry tree and wait for you till morning. Wouldn't that be lovely? I mean, to sleep in a cherry tree all silvery in the moonshine. Wouldn't it? Well, yes. No, I mean, are you sure that there isn't some mistake? You are Mr. Matthew Cuthbert, aren't you? Well, then there isn't any mistake. Mrs. Spencer told me to wait right here for you. Oh, I'm sorry I was late. Let me take your bag. Oh, no, thank you. It's very light and thin, like me. Why, I am dreadfully thin, aren't I? But I do like to imagine that I'm nice and plump with dimples in my elbows. Oh, I better hold on to my bag. If it's not carried in the right way, the handles fall off. It's a very old carpet bag. <sighs> Have we got a long piece to drive yet? Oh, I'm glad, because I love driving. It seems so wonderful that I'm going to live here, belong to you. You know, I've never really belonged to anybody before. And the asylum was the worst. I mean, Mrs. Spencer said it was wicked of me to say so. But I don't mean to be wicked. It's just one can be so wicked. And it's so... Well, it's so easy to be wicked without knowing it, isn't it? Am I talking too much? I mean, people often say I do. And I can't stop it if I make my mind up to do it. You can talk as much as you like. I don't mind. I know you and I are going to get along just fine. I love this place already. You know, I've always heard that Prince Edward Island is the most beautiful place in Canada. And I used to imagine that I was living here. You know, this is the first dream that's ever come true for me. Have you ever had a dream come true, Mr. Cuthbert? Well, no, I don't know. At the asylum, I was forced to imagine all kinds of things. Why, sometimes, I'd imagine that the girl who was sat next to me was really the daughter of a belted girl who had been stolen away in infancy from her parents and kidnapped by a cruel nurse who had died before she could confess. Dreams don't often come true, do they? I mean, just now I feel pretty nearly perfectly happy. Except I can't feel exactly perfectly happy because, well, what color is this? Well, it's red, ain't it? That's why I can never feel perfectly happy. I know I'm skinny and a little freckled and my eyes are green, but I can imagine that I have a beautiful rose leaf complexion and lovely starry violet eyes. But I can't imagine my red hair away. I mean, I do my best, but it will always be my lifelong sorrow. I read about a girl once who was divinely beautiful. Have you ever imagined what it must be like to be divinely beautiful, Mr. Cuthbert? Well, no, no, I haven't. Oh, I have often. Which would you rather be? Divinely beautiful, or dazzlingly clever, or angelically good? Well, I, I don't know. Neither do I. I'll never be angelically good. I mean, Mrs. Spencer says. Oh, Mr. Cuthbert! Mr. Cuthbert! What is this place called? What's the avenue? It's pretty, ain't it? Oh, there's no meaning in such a name like that. This should be called the White Way of Delight. This is far more glorious than I ever hoped for. Oh, Wonder, that's Barry's Pond. That is the Lake of Shining Waters. I mean, that's its rightful name. Do things like this ever give you a thrill, Mr. Cuthbert? Well, now. Yes, it gives me a thrill to see them white, ugly grubs that spade up in the cucumber beds. I hate the look of them. That's Green Gables yonder. I've pinched myself a thousand times today to see if this was true. But it is real! And we're nearly home! Thank you. My name is Magdalene Shepherd, and I'm ten years old.